You are about to begin reading Italo Calvino's new novel, If on a Winter's Night a Traveler. Relax. Concentrate. Dispel every other thought. Let the world around you fade. Best to close the door. The TV is always on in the next room. Tell the others right away. No, I don't want to watch TV. Raise your voice. They won't hear you otherwise. If you prefer, don't say anything. Just hope they'll leave you alone. I don't want to watch TV. I'm trying to read. I don't want to be disturbed. trying to read that book you got me. Okay, I'll be quiet. He was always so inconsiderate. I had never felt so stifled and so unbearably loved at the same time. He was sweet in an unrefined way and I think I loved him at some point. Or did I? walk two by two, doing things lovers do, they're in love, where am I? I see them on my way home, how oh, I hate to be alone, they're in love, where am I? I guess I have to hope that today the sun will shine. Tomorrow you'll be mine Till that day I will wait Watch the lovers on the lake They're in love Where am I? Walk alone on lovers lane Pass the kisses in the rain They're in love Back on it, this day could have been the perfect day, the perfect life, but only if everything stayed this way. Then he ruined it with those three stupid words, I love you. They're in love. Shit. You have now read about 30 pages and you're becoming caught up in the story. At a certain point you remark, this sentence sounds somehow familiar. In fact, this whole passage hey, reads something so, like I've read before. You know how old man Schrodinger across the street died? Well, they were going through his stuff and next thing I knew his son gave me his cat and I got a point because you kind of remind me of a cat. Keep him in there, I guess. He was completely oblivious to what I wanted. It's like the only thing he knew about relationships were what he learned from romantic comedies. The longer it stuck around, the more I hated that cat. The restaurant is taped in front of a live studio audience. Those slightly heavy, slightly watery eyes are enough to make me realize that the drama between the two has not yet ended. He continues coming to this cafe every evening to see her, and she comes to this cafe every evening Perhaps hoping that the habit of suffering will become for him a habit like any other. You haven't even touched your food, Kitty, huh? Yeah? I ate a slim fast for lunch. I'm not hungry. Well, I had a hot dog, three donuts from that place I like. Um, the leftover lasagna from last night, and I'm still hungry. You are so 
such a pig. I am what I eat. <laughs> hey guys, are you saving your for dessert? No, we're okay. Honey, you haven't even touched your food. Don't tell me that it's slim fast for lunch. No way, I really want to eat dessert. How can you live your life like this? You are so repulsively predictable. I don't like what I like. What's wrong with that? No one makes me watch those movies with the subtitles, and meanwhile, you haven't even come out to see my friend's little back cover badge. Those movies with subtitles are beautiful, and they mean something. And besides, your friend Jason hasn't changed his clothes since 2007. Just because the movies I like don't have car chases or anything like that in them doesn't mean they're not art. your mouth closed. <laughs> the only thing artistic I've ever seen from you is this book. I like the cover. The cover is blank! <laughs> Why had I let it go on this long? I was finally free. She closes her book, turns off her light, puts her head back against the pillow and says, turn off your light too. Aren't you tired of reading? And you say, just a moment. I've almost finished If on a Winter's Night of Travel by Atala Calabi. I loved her so much. I couldn't have cared more for her if I tried. She was passionate and smart, and that smile told me all I needed to know. She loved me. She looked so beautiful that day. I had practiced those words in my head, but never expected them to come out that soon. I love you. I love you. Lovers do. They're in love. I love you. Where am I? They're in love. Speechless. 
fate would have it that day that the start of our family began. I'm not naturally impulsive, but when I saw Schrodinger's cat abandon the mutant love, I couldn't help but think back to her. She seemed so uncertain, but I could see her thoughts of the future behind those skeptical eyes. In time, she loved that cat. I didn't let it get to me. She was always moody when she was on a diet. I'm still confused. 